الحمد لله مجيب من دعا وفاتح الباب لعبد قرا إذ قوله أم من يجيب مضطر إذا دعا اللهم أرنا الحق حق وارزقنا تبع وارنا الباطل باطل وارزقنا اجتناب رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمر وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله in this world there's a lot of people are suffering are suffering through the work of the shayateen ins and shayateen jinn Today I'm going to narrate for you a story of a man called Ahmed. Ahmed he begins Ahmed was a, in was in Yemen and he used to live in Yemen and because of whatever's going on in Yemen there's lack of jobs and lack of a lot of things. So he decided to travel to Indonesia. He traveled to Indonesia and lived there for a bit and it was difficult until he found a job he found a job in the hotel so he was working in the hotel and getting paid and whatever he gets paid he sends it back to yemen some and some he keeps it and he keeps so calling the people in yemen frequently every two three four days or every week he keeps in touch with his mom and his dad A time came by time passed by Ahmed found somebody and he contacted his mom and he he contacted his parents and he told I found somebody I need to marry this person his mom jumped and say son in here in Yemen there is so many good girls and so many righteous woman forget that just work and come back and you'll find someone ahmed did not listen and he disappeared from that day after one year he calls back he says mom my wife gave birth to a girl now the family in yemen that year he was away who are thinking what had happened to him how can we contact him how 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 question marks all the question marks the family comes to conclusion indonesia because there's so much magic my son the person he has found has done magic and captured his heart so that year all these question and then ahmed suddenly he calls and he gave him the news over baby child born in the family and disappeared again and the family are asking themselves question marks after several years like two years he appears again saying mom i am very tired with this woman this woman is this this woman is that he tells everyone in the family after several months he decided to fly back he flies back with his daughter the one who was given birth by the indonesian woman he goes back to yemen stays in yemen and everybody welcomes him his mom cuddle far everybody in the house so joyous ahmed was so happy and everything with his daughter there everyone was chilling and enjoying and suddenly these changes in ahmed starting to appear every night ahmed start screaming and making noise do not kill me do not kill me do not kill me every night and the family were gobsmacked they don't know what is going on what is happening they looking for solution they don't have no solution they take him to doctor before taking him to doctor ahmed is in the bed crying and don't know what to do every night he wakes up screaming but the whole day he's in the bed his body is numb he can't function all his body is absolutely numb only his head functions they took him to hospital the hospital get checked up everything nothing there and 
the situation is deteriorating slowly by slowly. Ahmed is saying, I'm feeling my body like it's been ripped into pieces. Like someone is needling my body. And they decided to take him to a sheikh. A sheikh started reading on him and reading on him. And then he narrates, he says, your son has got black magic. And then he started carrying on reading. Ahmed started vomiting blood, blood, blood. And he stopped. And he says, take him back home. He's gone back home and stays home for a bit and following the treatment of the sheikh. And he, he keeps on vomiting blood. Frequently vomiting blood. Looking back to the same sheikh. And he reads again, he reads again, he reads again. Alhamdulillah, he got better. Days pass by. Ahmed comes back to the same situation again. Starts screaming in the night and making so much noise. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. And he's telling his mom, she's here, she's here, she's here, she wants to kill me, she's here. And the mom asks, who is, who is he? She's, he's saying, it's my wife, my wife, the Indonesian wife wants to kill me, the Indonesian wife. His, Ahmed, situation is become, becoming worse after day by day. His body is totally numb. He cannot move. Only his head is moving. And he's narrating to his mom. He's telling his mom, I'm feeling somebody's cutting my flesh. They took him back to the sheikh. When they took him back to the sheikh, the sheikh read and read and read and read. And he discovered his... The black magic has been renewed. And this time has been renewed very, very strongly. And he advised everybody in the house to keep hold tight to the cars and everything. So he keeps on reading and reading and reading and reading. And he finished the recitation. Ahmed went home. Ahmed in the night wakes up and screams. <laughs> Stop her, she's killing me. Stop her, she's killing me. Stop her, she's killing me. His situation went by like that. Now, when Ahmed was screaming every night, this is the second time after some times, Ahmed was screaming in the night, screaming in the night. The situation is getting bad. His body is full numb. Only the head functions. They took him back to the sheikh. The sheikh read and read and read and read and advised everybody at home that they should read the adhkar morning and evening and hold tight to their salah. And he says, Ahmed, magic has been renewed and this time is through the door. And it's a very strong magic. Keep on reading on him, inshallah and take him back home. So he goes back home, and when he goes home, Ahmed still vomits blood. And every night, he screams, comes back. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill me, taking me away from him. My body, they're chopping my body. They're chopping my body into pieces. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. After four months, Ahmed passes away. They buried him in the Lilahi wa inna ilayhi raj'oon. After a couple of days, phone rings. When the phone rang, they picked the phone. When they picked the phone, she spoke. She, say, she says, this is phone from Indonesia. I used to be Ahmed's wife. And I'm going to kill you one after another, just like the way Ahmed died. I used voodoo doll, and I'm going to use on all of you voodoo doll. I need my daughter back. Everybody in the house were terrified that Ahmed died through magic. They knew it, but for somebody to call and admit it is me who was doing it. They had a feeling it is her, but for her to have the goods and thinking that Whatever she's doing, she's going to be successful. Was she, They were all gobsmacked. They were all surprised. 
and all scared. And they took the advice of the sheikh. The sheikh told him to read at the morning evening, not to leave the salah, not to do anything. And that is how that story ended. Ahmed passed away through magic of the doll. The magic of the voodoo is one of the dangerous magic. Magic has taken a lot of people's life, depressed, distressed. So hold tight to your salahs and adhkars, morning and evening. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rukha Talk. Wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.